to start. Um, I'd like to take this time to thank you for uh, having interest in Cinquecento Cucina. Uh, this is a product of my partner Rocco and I's dreams come true. Uh, you know, people try to tell you that dreams don't come true. Well, we're living it every day. Um, we had an idea of bringing a restaurant to Calgary that brought back some of the classic dishes and feelings that we had when we were growing up. Uh, they often say that you can tell how much an Italian loves you by how much they feed you. So to us, it's really important to extend that to the community. Uh, it was a great idea that we had starting this restaurant. We just needed to find the right area to put it. Uh, we were blessed and fortunate enough to be able to open a, our restaurant in the art block in Inglewood. Um, the landlord actually had 32 different people who wanted to open a restaurant here and turned them all down and gave us the opportunity to do it. Um, one of the things that in, that's important to us and one of the things that we've actually put on our sign is food, friends, and family. Um, what we really like and hope for is that you come in, you try our food, and then you become our friend. From that, you become such a good friend that we consider you family. Um, our restaurant is based on the concept of open, clear, organic, fresh, tasty, and unique dishes presented in a very simple way. So simple fresh grilling, quick sautés, not a lot of ingredients, uh, emphasis on quality versus a mixture of tastes to create a sensation. Uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is that you know we do all our shopping daily. Uh, we get everything from the freshest suppliers, the best wholesalers, and you know hormone-free meat, organic vegetables, and all quality. Um, Rocco and I had this vision and we, we wanted to bring it to Calgary. Uh, you know, we, we make our dough fresh every day. We produce our sauces every day. We import San Marzano tomatoes from Italy to make sure that you get the freshest, most original tasting products available. Um, we're in a unique situation where we have an open kitchen. Um, as you see behind us, um, there, there's no hidden agendas, there's no hidden mixtures or concoctions that we produce to make it an amazing flavor. There's no MSG. We're right there. If a piece drops on the floor, it goes into the garbage. Um, if, we, if we screw up a dish, we make a new one. But you know what? It, it really makes what we do transparent. And I think it's important. If you're spending your dollars and cents in a business, you want to know that you're getting the best possible and the freshest quality. That's why we went to an open concept. Um, and what it does is it keeps everybody honest. Make sure that you have an honest representation of what we're trying to give you, and also make sure that we stay honest and give you a product that we're proud to serve. Um, to us, it's very important that we only serve something that we'll eat. So every recipe that comes out of our kitchen, Rock and I have both tried and enjoyed, and we've had our staff sample it and enjoy. Until that happens, it doesn't go out. No one gets it. We have two amazing gnocchi dishes. Uh, we've got three or four different tagatelli dishes. We have a selection of fresh fish dishes that we bring in on an ongoing basis. We've got probably one of the most amazing steaks on the planet. We bring in hormone-free, organic, 14-ounce uh, bone-in ribeye, known as a cowboy cut, uh, served with a nice fresh bed of arugula and seasonal greens. It literally is making my mouth water telling you about it. Uh, you know, cooked in a variety of different ways. Um, and one of the things that kind of made us famous and brought us to where we are is our fries. Uh, we do a twist on a classic uh, Italian potato, but we transform it into a french fry sauce. We season it with herbs and garlic and fresh grano padano cheese, and then we finish it with a fresh truffle oil. So it's something that you want to try and give your taste buds a little treat. It's not a McDonald's fry, but something that I think you'll be impressed with. Um, so one of the unique features that we have here is uh, our space. Uh, Rocco and I actually built this entire restaurant from scratch. So we literally know every nook and cranny, bolt, screw, drywall, mud, chip, crack that went into this space. The, the space itself is actually fairly open, so it's, it's pretty conducive to different events and functions that you might want to consider having. Uh, our front area here is an open bar. We've got five, five uh, higher tables that you can sit and kind of chat and share some appies with some friends. We do cappuccinos. We have a beautiful selection of cocktails as well. So if you're looking for, you know, come in for a snack, maybe pre-game, uh, you're going to the Flames game or you're going to an event at the Saddle Dome, pop down, have a drink, a bite. We're within walking distance. Um, our restaurant seats 115 people comfortably. 
Uh, we could probably get more in if you have something that's a little bigger, a little larger. Uh, we do book the restaurant for special events and we also bring in uh, entertainment most Saturdays. Uh, we've had a beautiful selection of live entertainers, some really funky, eclectic DJs. Uh, we want a space that's inviting and open that brings a little fresh, new vibe to Inglewood. Uh, the neighborhood itself is pretty eclectic. We're pretty modern in what we do. But one of the things that's really important is remember, it may look a little ominous and it may look a little stark, but we welcome kids, we welcome everybody into our space. One of the things that's really important to keep in mind uh, at the restaurant, we do try to cater to everyone's tastes. We have constructed a menu that we put a lot of thought into for everybody. But you know what, if you come in and it's something that you want, you're not seeing, don't be afraid to ask myself or Rocco for something a little different. Uh, we're very open and willing to try different things. Uh, we do have gluten-free options as well for our guests. Uh, just make sure and tell your server that it's either an allergy or a preference because it does require different cooking preparations being that it's an allergy or a preference.